This is Beautiful Boy, A Father's Journey Through His Son's Addiction by David Sheff. He's really handsome. Um, it was published in 2008 by Houghton Mifflin. Um, it's about 317 pages, including an intro and an epilogue. And he also has his resources in the back. But the tags that go along with it are excuse me, um, drug abuse and treatment in California, methamphetamine abuse and treatment, children of divorced parents in California. So if you like reading about that kind of stuff, then this is a book you should definitely check out. Um, the summary is kind of long. So what happened to my beautiful boy, to our family? What did I do wrong? Those are the wrenching questions that haunted every moment of David Shuss' life. Our harrowing journey through his son Nick's addiction to drugs and tentative steps towards recovery. Beautiful Boy is a fiercely candid memoir that brings immediacy to the emotional roller coaster of loving a child who seems beyond help. Before Nick Sheff became addicted to crystal meth, he was a charming boy, joyous and funny, a varsity athlete and honor student adored by his two younger siblings. After meth, he was a trembling wraith who lied repeatedly, stole money from his eight-year-old brother, and lived on the streets. David Sheff chases the first subtle warning signs, the denial of the 3 a.m. phone calls, is it Nick, the police, the hospitals, the rehabs? His preoccupation with Nick became an addiction in itself, and the obsessive worry and stress took a tremendous toll. But as a journalist, he instinctively researched every avenue of treatment that might have saved his son and refused to give up on Nick. Beautiful Boy grew out of an article in the New York Times Magazine that drew an overwhelming response from readers, grateful that Chef had finally given a voice to the devastating experience they shared. As the psychologist Mary Pfeiffer, author of Revi Reviving Ophelia, said in praise of Beautiful Boy, when one, tells, when one of us tells the truth, he makes it easier for all of us to open our hearts to our pain and that of others. That is the summary. As for my opinion on the book, I thought it was really good. Like, really, 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 really eye-opening. I never, ever realized how big, how big of a problem meth was in the United States. Like, I never, ever thought it was this bad. Um, It makes me want to watch a lot of movies because there's like a lot of pop culture mentioned in this. Um, but yeah, it keeps you on edge because it's about him going to recovery and then, you know, he messes up a few times and you're always like waiting and wondering if he's going to mess up. It's so crazy. Like you just feel for this whole family and everything. Um, yeah, it really opened my eyes to meth and every other drug. Um, but, you know, I don't think you can really fully understand it until you have someone that goes through it or you're going through it um, yourself. I really like this book. It's one of the books that it took me a while to read. Like, usually I can just go through books in a few days. But this one took me a while because there are some parts where it's just, like, statistics and... Since he is a journalist, he did a lot of research, and he put a lot of research into this book. So this book has so much information, and it goes, and it has a story. So it's a really, really, really good book. Um, I definitely recommend it. I would give it an, I would give it like an eight and a half, maybe even a nine. It's really, really good. Um, I hope you check it out because it is the bomb. So, this is the ISBN number again if, or, I don't know, this is the ISBN number. So, um, if you read it, if you like it, tell me about it. If you don't like it, tell me why. Just tell me what you're reading and why you liked it. So, keep on reading, guys.